Hi, kid, and welcome to this very special true life kid time story time. I have a dream. Oh, you do, Green Bear? Yes, I have a dream that one day I will be the first Green Bear president of these United States of America, risen from my humble roots. Oh, I can tell that somebody has been reading the I Have a Dream speech. Yes, because the Martin Luther King words ring true throughout the ages. Okay, let's let the other kids hear the famous speech now. Okay? Okay. Because also you should have a dream. Okay. Let's let her start. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me start. And by the way, paintings, obviously words by Martin Luther King Jr. himself. Paintings by Kadir Nelson. He's this artist and he set this whole speech to art. Beautiful artwork. And if you pick up a copy of this book one of these days, it'll come with this right here. Maybe. Do you even have a CD player anymore? Well, I hope you do, because this is the actual recording with MLK's voice from the March on Washington, August 28th, 1963. So if Storyteller isn't reading it to you, you can actually have Martin Luther King himself read you the story. How's that sound? Not bad, eh? little glare today, having a little cloudy day out here. You ready? Here we go. I say to you today, my friends, that even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. And there he is, the backdrop of the Lincoln Memorial where the March on Washington happened, the most glorious setting ever you can possibly imagine for the most glorious speech. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. And there he's quoting from the Declaration of Independence. And here are all the marchers that completely filled, filled the whole park. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, you see that okay? On the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that one day my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That is a famous line right there, content of their character. So somebody will look at you and decide who you are and who you must be and everything you must be about and what you believe and just assume by looking at your face or the color of your skin or even the clothes that you're wearing. They will judge you by the content of your character. That means the character, what you are inside, what you are truly made of and who you really are, which has nothing to do with your outside. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Not a beautiful painting. These paintings are, oh. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. 
for jangling discords, music that doesn't sound good, it's, it's clashing discord, ah, bad sounding music, into what? A beautiful symphony of brotherhood. And this is cool right here. Hugh, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Well, the MLK um, monument, the National Monument in Washington, D.C., is this beautiful piece of stone, and they've carved his face and his body out of it. That goes with that line. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together. Well, not you. You just go to school together. To stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. These were tough times back then. Can you imagine? Kids didn't even oftentimes go to school together. They went to school depending on their skin color. I know, it's not like that now, but boy, we've come a long way. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And look at all those beautiful kid faces. Oh, there's so many kinds of faces here. I have to think that one of these faces may look a tiny little bit like you. Maybe the eyes, maybe the hair color, maybe the skin or the smile, the expression on their face, their cheeks. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Is that beautiful or what? And there's more. The back of the book has the entire, entire speech. And wasn't that the most beautiful drawing that you've ever seen to go along with this speech. I am so happy that Kadir thought that this would be a great idea for us to share it with you. Oh, he did? He said that? He really said that? Yeah, yeah, he told me that he thought it would be a great idea to share it with you and with me and with you, Green Bear, for sure, because Black History Month, but just American history in general. Yeah, because always, always, any day, any time, any month, really any month, is a good time to be, what, what do we always say? It's a good time to be inspired and to have a dream. So, dream on, kid. Yes, dream on. A dream of freedom and goodness for everybody. Including green Americans. I, I, I've never thought about myself that way. Well, I mean, think about it. I'm green, you're green, we're, we're green Americans. Oh, I always thought of myself as just Doug the Dinosaur. Well, well. I mean, I see you that way too, obviously. So, see you next time, my fellow dreamers and, and freedom lovers. Yes, see you next time on the always dreamy kid time. Story time.